Mariah Carey is being sued by Andy Stone once again for her hit Christmas jam, All I Want for Christmas is You. Now, Stone is asking for $20 million in damages and is alleging that Mariah copied his Christmas song that he released in 1999. Do you think Andy Stone needs to let it go? Now, quick note, his lawsuit against Mariah last year was dropped. Al, what are your thoughts? Al, well, I think he, he, Cardi, I want to make one correction. It was 1989, not 1999, 1989. Well, you saw it wasn't me. It was the prompt. Uh, 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 yeah, that's right, because, you know, she came into the business in 88. She's been in the business for 35 years. They found new new evidence um, in discovery, new discovery. So my whole thing is, why is it taking him so long? Why did it take him 30 years to get it right or to try to get it right? That's number one. Why didn't he sue her 30 years ago is number two. Um, is there a statute of limitations? But I, all of that was just plaguing me. And then I thought about it. Wait a minute. Mariah Carey is a multimillionaire managed by the best in the business. She has the best lawyers, the best financial people. So I am sure she has the best insurance. And for people like Mariah Carey, we know she definitely has what's called errors and omission insurance. And I was like, okay, now that I know that she has E&O insurance, she's insured by the insurance company to cover if she's ever stuck in a sticky situation like this. And they cover for millions of dollars in costs when, a, when one of their clients lose their copyright lawsuit. So I have no worries here for Mariah. I'm sure they're going to figure this out. And even if she has to pay, I'm sure her insurance will take care of it. So be it once that do let it go. It's been thrown out how many times? And the Kim and Chief said, leave that lady alone. Uh, T said, child, Claudia is drunk boots. No, I'm not. And Fan of Five said, Al said, not me, girl. He's not with y'all. Okay, Q, what do you think about this? You know, Al, I want to address one thing you said. You were like, why is he coming forth so long? The same reason them Bill Cosby accusers and them Hugh Hefner accusers came back so long. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to lie to you. I'd rather somebody come back saying they journal been robbed and they tussy cat been tampered. If I want to accept some SHIT 30 years later, I'd rather it be a copyright infringement lawsuit than it was he twiddled in my tussy cat 30 years ago. Now, listen, right is right and wrong is wrong. I wasn't there. I ain't never wrote this. And when I went down to Florida State University and got my degree in economics, some people ain't teach me nothing about songwriting. But I say this, if whoever gave Mariah Carey that song or gave her the jingle or gave her the inspiration, if they bit off that man, they owe him some money. But I'll say this also. Due to the fact that it's been thrown out of court for several times, then, then maybe he has no evidence. But I say this again. The fact that the man been so persevering so much and persistent, I mean, he might feel something down, 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 down in his heart that, le that legitimizes his pursuing this after all these years. Um, we also have a comment. Uh, Mr. D-Boy Sexy said he sees all the money the song makes every year. So... He said he wants a piece. So, you know, probably a reminder every year, the song is a hit again. And he's probably like, oh, every single year.